So guess what? I finally got my stuff in my art room. It's kind of all over the place, but it's finally there. So that's pretty exciting. Um, so here's the thing. Uh, I want to show you the art room, do a little quick painting, and then, um, you know, get off of here. But um, I just want to show you, take a second, and show you the the space that we're in right now. So this is the table where the magic happens. Stuff's all over the place. Stuff's still all over the place. There's my drying rack. I only have some of the shelves in right now. And stuff, more stuff all over the place. Junk on the floor. And then on the carpet, this is a plastic covering that it's, it's a piece, uh, it's kind of adhesive. It comes right back up. And so it protects your carpet. So I'm, I'm pouring over carpet, but it's okay. Um, you can buy them in giant rolls. And uh, it really, really helps. So I'm gonna get this in the mount and gonna get on its way. All right, so this canvas was a little dented in our move. So we've got a dent here and a dent here. I sprayed the back with water. Um, so we'll see how that works, but as you can see, it's got a little bit. Um, I'm not too worried about it actually. So we'll see. All right, so this white had a bunch of bubbles in it. I've been, I let it sit for a little bit, checking consistency everywhere. Um, so in my genius idea of trying to pop the bubbles, I melted a hole in the side with my torch because I was like, yeah, I could just, you know, right right there in the tip. Um, as it turns out, you cannot. That is a poor idea. It's a bad decision. And I made that. So I'm not going to be pouring into my white cup like I normally do. I'm going to pour my other colors. Okay, so for colors today, we have cadmium yellow, uh, deep hue. I love this color. Oh, love it. We have aqua green and... Phalo blue. No, 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 that's not the right one. Where's the right one? Here it is. And phalo blue from Lucas Krill Studio. Uh, this is my favorite color of all. And so I've never poured these two together, but I think it's going to be fantastic because we're going to get hues of greens and, and this is a hue of green, but we're going to get some more of that. Okay. So all that to say, this is going to be awesome. I already leveled my canvas, so we got that. And um, actually, guys, to be honest, I'm crazy nervous because I don't do this often. Or I haven't done this in a really long time. Um, so, just quick check to consistency. Yep. And, oops, sorry. Wiggle in the camera. Just, oh my goodness, I'm dead it again. Oh no. Okay. And this one. This one's a little light, but I think I'm gonna leave it that way. Um, I'm gonna pour everything into the blue cup. So ready, blue cup, it's coming. The white's going in first. And you know what's funny? I've, I've never tried to pour my base color in. So, I don't know if I'm saying this right, but I generally like to pour my everything into my white cup. But since I can't this time, um, I'm not sure if it's going to turn out different. And I haven't poured in so long that I probably won't even notice the difference, to be, to be honest. All right. No. And my favorite, of course, the blue. This phalo blue. Oh, it's like magic. I love it. It's got a lot of bubbles too. You know what? I've I've made too much paint. It's gonna take me some time again. I used to be able to just eyeball it. Be like, oh, yep, I'm gonna need that much paint, and that's the amount of flow troll I need. So as far as pouring mediums, we've got flow troll and a little bit of PVA. And that's what we got. Are you ready, guys? Oh, that's already pretty. Look at would you look at it? Would you just look at it? <laughs> All right, guys. Uh, okay. See, here's the thing. Oh, okay, just... Uh, okay. Man. I'm glad it just ripped off the Band-Aid. Uh, 
three. Here we go. Oh, way too much paint. Oh, well, whatever. You know, fill up that divot right there in that corner. And I'm probably going to lose all that yellow, most of this, some of that. We'll see. I don't know. You know, one of the cool things about taking a break from pouring for so long is that um, I've got like all these other ideas that I've kind of been um, thinking about while I wasn't able to pour. Um, yeah, so this will be interesting. I'm not exactly sure if I'm going to like how this turns out. We'll see. Oh, there's some goop I should have, should have, should have uh, filtered my Floetrol. I did not. So we'll see. Um, I think that some of this right here, I put zero silicone in it. So um, kind of see in just a second. And I don't know if you can hear my boys in the other room. They're causing a ruckus. Um, they have a friend over, and they're being little buttheads. They don't watch my channel, so I can say that. <laughs> um, yeah. So, just making sure the edges are covered while I got it here. I'm going to need to torch this, because this um, is a mess right now. So, we'll see. Um... Okay, I'm just drying off my hands because it's coming right. Ah. So you know one thing I've noticed, um, I've started like, I used to only use um, Artist Loft paint. And uh, there's nothing wrong with Artist Loft paint. I love it, I've used it quite a bit. Oh man. I gotta put this way closer than I like. Anyway, so back to what I was saying. I started using different paints than I than I had normally done, and it um, I really noticed a difference in the binders. Trying to go over this without burning the paint is, um, yeah, it's, uh, it's a thing right now. Okay, so here's the thing. I'm going to need to practice. <laughs> I can't believe how rusty I am after not having poured in so long. Oh, that's kind of coolish. That's really fine lacing. So some of this stuff up here that's kind of like, um, It's kind of, um, man, I don't know what the word I should use for it is, but, oh, there we go. I like that. I kind of like how they're, um, oh my goodness, come on, words, they're so hard sometimes. I kind of like how it's lacing up and then... I really would like some more stuff on this side. This is hot, by the way. Alright, so that's enough. Um, I'll get down to show you because... Um, so I notice in this light, it's kind of hard to see. And I don't know if the colors are quite right. Um, they're pretty close. But... Um, with this, that's kind of fun, like that, but it's super fine lacing. 
And um, yeah, I'll probably end up um, doing something with this. I'm not sure what, but do something we will. All right, guys, thank you for watching. You know, it's been a while since I put out a video and I appreciate you guys for watching. Um, yeah, so let's get this thing rolling again. I got a place to do it in now. Um, so my plan is to do mostly pouring for a little bit until I get back in the swing of that. And then we'll start working in a little bit of alcohol link videos and every now and again, um, I'll do an abstract um, with like those clean lines that I really like. Uh, kind of like these guys. Mm, those. Yeah. I found, this is one of my old school ones. Oh, I love that one so much. Uh... <laughs> I'm a big giant dog. All right, guys. Thank you for watching. Love you guys. Peace.